That's what like, she comes back to. It's we're just talking about how what we wash our anus. Long nails. I'm just wondering, how do people with long nails wash their butt? Oh, or they yeah. Don't. Okay, actually. They yeah. Don't. Okay. All right. Bro, I just ate. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's change the topic. Cause. Fine. Why? What does it feel like to have facial hair? <laughs> Were you what? asking? I'm just curious, okay? No, but who are you asking? You! Oh. Who are you? Yeah. Um, good, I guess. You got, it helps, you got beard. It, it helps me reinforce that I do not look my age. Because before I shaved, I was leaving the village. Someone thought I was 25 when I was like... Oh, man. I was like, yeah, totally. <laughs> wow. All right. So, so yeah, I do you have cleavage? That's my other question. I have cleavage. Me I want to know. What does, it feel like, what does it feel like to have cleavage? Um, like, uh, that just proves how buff you are, not gonna lie. No, I'm pretty what? flat. <laughs> what? I'm pretty You're flat. buff. Do you not? I saw that post on what your post? swim team. I saw those abs. Yeah. Not abs. Yes, they are. Do, well, then what do you call those? Um. The body. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Anyway. Sculpt. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, so. A sculpted pork. Okay, whatever. Anyway, so. Welcome back to. Wait, is it recording? Okay, now I, now it's recording. All right. I, so. <laughs> I right. forgot I'm voicing two girls. Yeah. Yay. I keep forgetting we're only four in the call. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So. It's Zach. been a long while Whoa. since I don't know how long it's been. I'm pretty sure it's only May. been May. Like... Oh wait, no, June. Must have CET. Really? Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess it hasn't been that long. Okay. Uh, then again, okay, no, it's technically okay. Let's just continue. It's fucking okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, which one was it? Ah, uh, June 19. There we go. Who is this? Oh, it's me. It's you. So. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. I'm pretty sure it's been over more than days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Big B! Oh, dear <laughs> God, it's the shortest bit. Okay. Shut the hell up! <laughs> Yo, Sayori! <laughs> Alright. Looks like you're in a good mood today, you sadistic bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm just still not used to you being in the club. That's all. Oh, okay. I guess I'm not an official member in your eyes. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Good. That's a pretty simple thing to... Uh, uh, that's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. Oh, Louis joined again. Whoop. But I guess it's always the simple things with you. Simpleton. No, sorry. Shut the fuck up, Okay, bitch. fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Of yes. course you are. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> right. Will you come with me to buy a snack? The fingers. Can I, can I say I'm no? Crazy. Yeah, no thanks! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I had to I choose. I can see her doing the I might fingers. get kidnapped. Oh, I thought I had to choose. Big B knows the right words to say. <laughs> eh? It's okay. <laughs> That's not like you at all. Like, what? Bitch, what you talking about? It's always like me. I have my reasons. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why don't we take a look at your purse? What? Am I mugging her? <laughs> it's a hold up. It is a hold up. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> There's food in there, isn't it? Why that? All of a sudden? No reason, really. Just wanted to mug you, I guess. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, uh, uh. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. Oh, that's what we were after? I thought it was a normal purse. 
She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Oh, dear God. Then she turns it upside real? down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. All right. Only two small coins fall. Okay. Damn it, you. I'm broke. So that's why. Broke. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, hold on. ASMR time. Oh my god. It, it <laughs> feels worse that we don't know what she's opening because her <laughs> cam isn't on. True, true. Anyway. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she did the fingers. <laughs> Damn it. That was out. The you fingers. predicted it. I mean, what did we oh, expect? Good. It's this game. She's an Ubu girl. I knew it. You broke piece of shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can see right through you. That's not fair. Life's not fair. Now deal with it. Sorry. How did you even know? It's simple. Nobody just asks to come with you to the <laughs> buy. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought the sniper before. <laughs> oh. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some, you gold dig- Okay. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that leaves the one option. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what that is supposed to be. Ooh, uh. Ooh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh. I give up. Fine. It's good you admit defeat. Don't make me feel guilty. <laughs> I won't make you feel make guilty. You're already guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. I am the court of law. <laughs> Sorry. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, that's, there, I laugh. Yuri suddenly, I'm pretty sure that was more than a giggle. <laughs> hey! Sorry. I didn't notice that she was listening. You quiet. Her fur. Her face is in her book as always. Uh. I wasn't. I wasn't listening or anything. Do you ever? It was just something funny in my book. Yes, and that is why you exclaimed, Aha! Sorry. <laughs> Can you shut up? <laughs> Aha! Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Yuri! Tell Big B to lend me box. To let me borrow some money. That sounded like a threat. That. Don't get me involved in that, Sayori. Good answer. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. Wow, responsible. Is this why your class? Pre Is this why your president, Louis? I'm or not vice, president. Or your oh vice president. Uh, I don't, Whoa, I'm, vice president. I'm just, I'm just oh reading. God, <laughs> and frankly, after pulling a mis mischievous little stunt like that, your, <laughs> your suffering is fair enough. Distribution. Wise words coming from our future vice president. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. Ah. I, have a I have a competitor now, okay? Who so, is it? Shush. I will Ooh. tell later. I will tell later. Okay, okay. Sarah Duterte? No. <laughs> All right. No. I don't know how to speak this. It's just dot, dot, dot. Uh. Nah. <laughs> did, did I just... I, I didn't mean that. To say ah. I got too absorbed in my book. 
Yeah, totally. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was gonna be ooh. <laughs> 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 the most condescending laugh. Ever. At least it's not. I really uh-huh. like when you speak your mind, Yuri. Oh gosh, it doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's. There's no way you could think that. Yeah, absolutely no way. It's just part of the script. You were right, though. I did something bad. And now I have to accept the revolution. The revolution? Alright. The revolution. Viva la France! <laughs> Retribution. Okay. <laughs> that! Yes, that. Or as we like to say it, what Louis said. Okay. <laughs> Still, coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Yeah, Satan likes to poke his ass around everyone. I. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Who am I speaking to? Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. She planned it. Fuck? Did you forget no, the didn't. script? <laughs> After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. She makes mischievous plans before she even says them. But you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. You're right. I wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Oh my god, you're a gaslighter. (laughs) (laughs) Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. I came for other than cupcakes. Manga. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Did you just hit her? I oh assume I God. did. Quap. I assumed my final form presenting Andrew Quap. Tate, Sigma Male. Sorry. Oh my God. Quap. Quap. Kia? What the hell? Please don't. I don't know how to make that. Yeah, don't. Just don't. You don't, don't. You don't <laughs> we read it anyway. Yeah! Why? Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know. Sounds like Princess Peach for a minute. <laughs> Something <Whoa>. smacks Sayori <laughs> in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Was it a torpedo? Oh, it wasn't you. Okay. Oh my oh god, my I god. thought was it was. Was it me? Or it could be Brie. Ow. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> The attitude? A, a cookie? Sure oh enough, God, cookie? it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Oh my gosh, no. My Sayori glances game. around. Is this a miracle? Oh my God. <laughs> she spawns in. <laughs> it's because I paid my restitution. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Is Sayori okay. illiterate or something? <laughs> Retribution. You stupid! Okay. Actually, that one almost worked. Sure. I almost did the aha. Okay. Aha! Just let me be. Just let me be. Okay. I was just gonna give it to you. Man, yeah, that was totally giving. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. Aha! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Natsuki? That's so nice of you! Oh my, my god, she's Netflix. like the stupid <laughs> girls in anime. Just dumb. This is anime. Ah, oh, that's right. I'm so happy. Jesus Hashtag Christ. Blessed. Hashtag blessed. Jesus Christ. You hugged a cookie. All right. Nice. Jeez, just eat it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my she God. rapidly opened it. Oh, my God. It's so good. Wait. Mm, 
good. True with your mouth closed. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Ooh. Ah, I bit my tongue. Good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, I'm not. I can't do a laugh. You're going through a lot over just one cookie. I mean, yeah. Okay. You take a bite of your Numb. own cookie. Ah, yours, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. If only you could give me one. If only we <laughs> saw what the cookie looked me. like. Can I don't try you, it? Oh my god. Don't you course. dare. Don't you dare come here. In direct kiss. Jeez. <laughs> I like that that's where Bree just goes to. In direct kiss. Anyways. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. So that means neither of you can be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, yeah that's I like totally chocolate. Yeah, why do you think? Uh, why do you think I gave you that one? Because it ain't chocolate. Fine. Well, that one for now. Okay. Still, I'm gonna <laughs> share this one with me. Change yeah. this race. Okay. Happy, happy time. <laughs> I thought Louis gonna do another. Eh -eh. Don't you dare! <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Oh. Okay, so it looks like her. P just looks like her P and G moved. <laughs> Maybe. Ah, jeez. <laughs> hey, jeez. Ah. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I like how that you you can use that response both for this and after we make fun of you. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. Oh. OMG, she ate the cookie. Wow, she managed to get it. I feel so violated. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Did you just seriously do that? Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. Trots away to safety. <laughs> Alright. Trots away. Am, am I the eye here? You're yes. In, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you're an eye laugh as well. Are you? <laughs> Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Bitch, we in high school, we still kids. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Huh? Not to keep glances around. Oh no, it's another one. Monica is in the club room. Oh no, she's taking meth. Ugh. <laughs> Where's Monica anyway? Probably taking meth. Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Oh, she's back? <laughs> yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. Hmm, I hope she's okay. Do you really? Of course yeah. she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. It's school. You have something to do today. Right. She's pretty popular after all. Wait, she is? I forgot. Sorry, is that really her character? Is she really like a popular one? I think I don't she is. <laughs> she gave Looks up. like one. <laughs> we just Probably. Gave up. <laughs> My gosh, Bree, you're popular. Huh? <laughs> I can't you don't think she. <gasps> she has a. Oh my... A different friend group? No, impossible. She has. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Oh, okay. She a hoe? I thought. <laughs> well, yeah. 
Yeah, that's true. Excuse me? I like how this is mostly Louie having a conversation with you <laughs> and herself. <laughs> Suddenly the door swings open. I wonder who could Hi, be. Hi, Monica. Are you done making out? <laughs> sorry, I'm super sorry. <laughs> are you? Ah, there you are. <laughs> I didn't mean to be late. Right. That's what they all say. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend. Oh my! Wait, never mind. Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. Monica's a boyfriend. You're so strong-willed. Oh You're my so god! Kind of old. Boyfriend. What on earth are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Look at this ugly piece of shit. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, Monica quietly glances at me. Oh no, she heard my comment. Quizzically. <laughs> uh, never mind uh, that. Okay. What held you up anyway? Well, you know, besides your boyfriend, but sure. Ah. Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. What the hell do you do in study hall? Yeah, isn't that just, like asynchronous? <laughs> be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ah, now it's starting to be relatable. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. He's sucking dick. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. What the heck? Alright. Piano? Yeah, no. I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Yeah, you just generally look like a hoe. Uh, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool, Monica. <laughs> you should play something for us, Monica. Oh no, she had He's Monica so, so twice. Sassy. <laughs> you should so, play so something sassy. for us, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> That's. Monica looks. Oh shit, she heard my comment. I swear to God, I don't have your drugs, Monica. <laughs> Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Okay, you do that. Jesus Christ, that sounds cool. <laughs> I'd also look forward to it. Maybe not. Is that so? No. In that case, I went let you down, Big B. Oh, and and end the club. F you forgot end the <laughs> club. You ho. <laughs> Damn. Ah, oh, God damn it! <laughs> Get away! <laughs> you ho. Damn. <laughs> Nah, let's get. <laughs> no wait, 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 something better. <clears throat> nah, <laughs> sorry. Can you like <laughs> move on? Okay, go. okay. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. I swear to God, don't kill me. Uh, don't worry. No oh, shit, I'm gonna die, aren't I? <laughs> I've been practicing a whole lot recently. I thought you said you sucked. I really love the chance to share one, so I'm ready. Yeah, I thought that was the whole point of the previous discussion. I see. He sucks at lying. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Nah, just just the two fighting over a cookie. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade, yes, of gold diggery. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway, because of course. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. What do you, it took that long? Jesus Christ. Yuri is back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. <laughs> what the fuck? Why she in the closet? The closet? <laughs> Where do you go, Natsuki? <laughs> She's going She's to Narnia. 
She went back to the closet. That's Big B! Big B! Come here, you bitch! Come on, come here! Big B! Is it Big about B. Natsuki Big disappearing B. into the closet? You, boy, you make Sayuri sound so sassy. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get- I'm gonna, like, go get some supplies from another classroom. Jesus Christ, I didn't need to know! Just get him! <laughs> Sorry. You want to like come with me? Okay, be a Chad. Say no. Supplies? What for? <laughs> well, you know how the festival is coming up. No, this is the first time I've heard of it. Me and Monica were gonna make some posters and stuff. No. So I need to go find some crayons and markers and glue sticks and paper and glue. And more glue sticks and She's scissors. Off, like actual and... items. <laughs> Wait, it's a classroom. Do you not have that already? Jesus Christ, your school sucks ass. All right. We're gonna steal things. Nah, I see. You. Nah. <laughs> sure, I'll go. Eat. No, you fell for. Yay! It. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Okay, Monica. We'll be back soon. Wait, Monica was with us. No, oh, she's. Ah, uh, are you going with Big B to get the supplies? Oh god. There's no need to trouble yourself. Let me guess, she already got it? I'd be happy to go with him. Oh, what the fuck? Smooth, wow! Smooth wow. steel! What is that? Aww, but I wanted to go! She makes Sayori sound like a <laughs> toddler. <mine. laughs> You, you make Sayori sound like a toddler. No, she makes her sound so sassy. <laughs> and not yeah. nice. The classrooms and stuff. Yeah, and stuff. That's what you're getting. I swear to God. <laughs> okay, okay. It was just a suggestion. Right. See if you can find some poster paper too, okay? Jesus, what what about that thing on your billboard blackboard? Use that. Okay. Kill me now. Now come on, Big B, let's go. No, ready, sure. Big B? Are you ready or no. not? No, say no! <laughs> say no! Right. You cannot stop me. Ooh, another background besides the classroom. Great. Oh, Sayori now he's at the club. Really? I have no idea. I follow behind as Sayori hums and skips around the hallway. Honestly. It feels like I'm <laughs> taking a kid to the mall or something. Uh, <laughs> Sayori finds pleasure in the simplest things sometimes. Like crayons. Hey, Sayori. What exactly are we doing for the festival anyway? Because I have no idea. I'm not sure how you would even make an event out of literature. Really? <laughs> Me and Monica have it all planned out. Oh my god, you're gonna kill the entire school, aren't you? <laughs> Don't you worry. Okay, you guys are definitely gonna kill the school. Is that so? Yup. That was the most obvious threat I've ever heard, if there ever was one. We're gonna do a poetry performance! Ah, I knew it. They were gonna kill the school. A performance? Of what kind? Well... Everyone is gonna take turns on stage... Oh no... And recite their favorite poem! Oh no! Nah! That sounds... Boring as fuck. Yeah, kind of dull. <laughs> Big B, you're not thinking about it the right way at all. No. Oh <laughs> it's not just about reading poems. It's the poems we read along the way. No. It's about performing them. Kill me. All right. Like. You say the lines of the poem, like, between my feet. Alright, that's oddly specific. The last remaining flower beckons to me. Right, that's also very specific. I twist the stem, freeing it from...
from its clinging roots. Sayori, did you kill a person? Caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. You sadistic bitch, what did you do? <laughs> what Sorry, have, wait. have I summoned this joy? She spawned Satan in our school. For now, when I look in every direction, She's telling us something. The once prosperous field before me. How, how many poems is she gonna go through? Alright. Is but a barren wasteland. <laughs> so edgy. Edgy. Love it. Like that. I like how like that is in quotation marks as well. So I'm assuming there's a poem also called like that. Sayori? How do I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you talk like that. Right. Yeah, true. <laughs> 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 I'm what? sorry. You meanie bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm working super hard on this, you know? Like, come on, bro. Ah, this is what I'm saying. I know, I know. Oh, you yeah. clumsy hoe. I just meant that it's pretty unordinary. Wait, what? It's pretty unordinary contrast to your cute. So fuck, why'd I compliment her? <laughs> Don't say that. It's embarrassing. Like, come on, bro. Okay, I won't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I won't. I'll shut up now. But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Sure. What the? <laughs> oh my spotted. god, someone's in here, guys. What? You're what? Athena's in here. Athena? Who? Yeah. Oh. Athena is. I do. Okay, okay bro. <laughs> ah, <that's it. laughs> Monica has entered the server. Go it's going to be so much fun, guys. Like, we're gonna get drunk. Yeah, you sound really excited, don't you? Get some dudes. So, so what the and <laughs> Sayori spins her And you're around. that dude? <laughs> I'm sorry, what does what would this even look like? Sayori spins herself around in the hallway again. I'm Probably twirls. Hey, Big B, this classroom over here is empty, right? Okay, that it. means it's the wrong classroom. We we went here to get stuff. Let's begin the mission. No. We read it. The mission, eh? It's been a long time since I've spent time with Sayori like this. The most awkward times of my life. But in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's still a little bitchy child. Oh, she's nothing but a ball of sunshine drawing happy vibes from the world around her. And also, kind of stupid. <laughs> no, it is not. As the years went by, I began to hold myself up in my room more and more. Ah, yes! The introvert. Good job. So going to the introvert, Sayori, brings out a special sort of feeling I forgot I had in me. Disgust. Two of us entered the classroom. I figured. Sayori head straight to the closet, and I follow. Why is everyone going to the closet? Let's see... What do we have in here that we can raid? That's Crayons! Wow, you found it. What the hell are you? Are you drawing on it? You press on it. Oh my god, where are you getting this more bullshit? What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Someone he meant the mole. Like, where? Okay, you're the best friend too! It's Crayola! <laughs> it better be, I was gonna say. It has to be Crayola. Who else? Who else? Crayola's not <laughs> a person, Louis. Crayola, man. It's dirty, though. Sayori starts pulling various crayons out of the box, reading the color names. Oh no, she's got ADHD. Alright, that's one down. Don't get distracted. We still need to find... Wait, I'm looking for my favorite color. God damn it. Fine, fine. Then, 
Uh, then at least move aside so I can look for the poster paper. Ah, I dropped one by accident. Oh, no. <laughs> what the fuck? The sound I'm hearing. Smack my ass like a drum. I hope that is not what happened. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Breaking it worse. Breaking. That sounds so good. I wish I had that skill. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Okay. Sayori bends over and smacks her forehead right into the shelf like a clumsy Oof. little girl. Insert Roblox. <laughs> she falls to the floor and the crayons spill all over her lap. What? Ah, uh, yes. Ow, 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 ow. My forehead, you guys. My forehead. You okay? My forehead. I don't care. Okay. Sayori <laughs> clutches her forehead. Jeez, Sayori. What the fuck? <laughs> That's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. No, don't see. I grab her by the waist and pull her out of the... What the fuck, bro? You have to move your hand, Sayori. But it hurts. I don't care. Just do it for a second. Oh, Why? <laughs> Where... What shelf did she hit? It's probably this one at Maybe the back. Maybe chair? Sayori chair slowly inside. releases her hand from her forehead because she needs to stop being so dramatic. I gently brush her bangs off to the side like an idiot because nobody does that after banging the forehead. Ow! Ow! Is that Athena? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, oh. Sorry. There was a huge red mark on the center of her forehead. Her yeah, forehead became not Japan. Not no. Oh my god. Not no. A bump is starting to form as well. This is just reminding them. me that scene we did in Moving Up with the Maleks where Bella's head just became uh, yeah. Japan. <laughs> Man, that's gonna swell up. I don't know how. How strong are our th shelves? I should find you some ice. Ice. Baby. Alright. <laughs> Where do I find ice around this time? Good job, Big B. Ignore her. Nah, I guess a cold drink would do. You don't have to. I'm fine with I'm looking fine like, with a looking like a unicorn. Oh, that's her. My little pony, my little pony. Even when she Unicorn, the... not pony. Sayori <laughs> makes a silly joke. Because that is what normal people do. What are you saying? My little pony. I'll be right back, okay? Good job. I escaped. Uh, uh, okay. I pat her. Okay. And run out to the hall. Yes, escape. The vending machine. Yes. What should I get? It doesn't matter. Alright. What can I get? Okay. I'm already returning to the classroom where I left Sayori. Let me guess. She's gone. Oh, she's still there. She has one palm on her forehead, and he's using the other hand to clumsily scoop crayons back into the box. What does that box say? Oh, it's a pack of 24. You're a pleb. Anyway. At least they were already in the wrong spot before I spilled them. You sure? Sayori, here. Apple juice. Drink it. It's nice and cold. I don't think vending machines are supposed to be cold. There are some, depending on the beverage. Sayori, what are you doing? You fucking idiot. It's for your forehead. Ah. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> How hard did you hit your head? Are you, like, stupid? Stings. Yeah, I can tell you feel the pain a lot. It stings. <laughs> Just bear with it. It'll feel better soon. Looks like you cleaned up most of the crayons, so that's good. 
Hey, Big B. Are you gonna die yet? This kind of reminds this kind of reminds you of growing up, doesn't it? No. What do you mean? You know how we used to play outside all the time? Absolutely not. Wow. <laughs> I would always try to keep up with you. You were kind of oblivious in some ways. I mean, aren't guys just always like that? You used to be Pretty stupid much. as hell. Like, I usually fell... Like, I usually fell behind or had trouble climbing on things you did. But sometimes when I tried to do things I couldn't, I would get myself hurt. I'd fall and scrape myself or get a bump. And I would start crying real hard like this. <laughs> And you would rush over as quick as you could. You would try really hard to get me to stop crying. Yes, because all the other people around would see that and it would be weird. It was almost like you blamed yourself and were afraid of getting in trouble if someone found out. That is absolutely right. <clears throat> Even though it really wasn't your fault at all, you know. Did I really do that? I don't remember being selfless. I just remember being an absolute bitch. Yeah. You don't remember. Did the previous question mean nothing to you? Alright. Come to think of it, maybe I do remember a bit. Oh my god, Big B has amnesia. Oh my god, that's the whole lore. He just has amnesia. <laughs> I guess I was always so focused on my games and I didn't pay enough <laughs> attention to you, right? So in a way, it was my fault because of my games. Yeah, totally. Kind of like this time too. No, it is not. Sayori was just stupid. Yeah. <laughs> it just comes out and agree. Yeah. <laughs> if I wasn't rushing you out of the closet, you probably wouldn't have hit your head. Was I? Nobody was rushing anything. We just... Oh, God. Big B? No. I don't think you realize it, but you're always thinking about other people. Other people being myself? Yes. Even after all these years, you're rushing to help me even though I'm just being clumsy and like... Um, I helped you because you were clumsy, you stupid. And other things. You're really a sweetheart, you know that. That's like, gross. any girl would be lucky to have you. Don't call me that. It looks stupid. Sorry. And I don't really do this kind of thing all the time. Yeah, you know, it's just like a side hobby, you know? I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Because I Aww. always gotta be saving your stupid ass. <laughs> <laughs> Before I even know it, I'm treating you like that. Okay. I guess that's what happens when you've been friends for so long. How long has it been? Really? Absolutely not. Maybe you're right. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that nothing's changed between us. Yeah, you're still stupid. Sorry. Do you think it'll be like this forever? I hope and to God not. You better not be clumsy in the future. Ever? And ever and ever. Forever? Holy shit, that sounds like torment. And ever and ever okay, and that. ever. No more lying. <laughs> <laughs> and ever <laughs> and ever. Jesus, oh God. It doesn't stop. If I'm honest to myself, there's no telling where, uh, where we'll end up for college or after that. Oh shit, a story is real. So it wouldn't be fair for me to make any promises. But, no, that's it. Let's just leave it there. But, well, I hope so. It's been this long already, right? No. I can't imagine you ever changing. So my hopes are up. Yes, I hope you keep getting yourself hit. I'm so happy. You shouldn't be happy about that. That's, that's a problem. Sayori has a whimsical expression in her eyes. No, that just looks... Concerning. We remain silent for a moment because plot. She's so silly and clumsy on the side and the outside that when I see her deep in thought like this, yes, it makes me not want to disturb her. 
I guess we should go back. Can you even get the paper? I don't want to worry Monica, you know. Good luck with that! Yeah, hell yeah. Good response. She's gonna see your forehead either way. Not if I hide it under my bangs. Yeah, you're like a hairy unicorn. See? I told you! Why can't her PNG just you have like a... Me? Why can't her PNG just have like a small horn? All in Sayori. <laughs> Don't stand up so fast after hurting yourself, stupid. Uh. Christ. Well, I guess it's too late now. All right, shut up and let's go. Christ, that, damn it! I followed Terry out of the classroom. Terry plays with her bags and tries to hide the bump without much success. Sorry. In a moment, we make it back to the club room. <clears throat> ah, you're back. No. The timing. I was just about ready to start with sharing our poems. Eh, Sayori, your forehead. She's fine. Don't worry about. I was playing with the crayons and smacked my forehead into the shelf. Why is she so happy about this? Oh, God. <laughs> no. She oh, is. Man. She really is like those dumb anime girls that just get happy about anything. I think that's the point All of right. her character. Okay. C good expression, Monica. Well, anyway, were you able to find everything we needed? Did, 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 did we get the paper? Uh huh. I have it right. Oh no, she has memory loss. Oh no. I, I forgot all this stuff! Fuck! She has dementia in high school. Calm <laughs> down, Sayori, you dementia old. Okay. I have it all right here. Oh my god. Plot. Oh my god, I found the poster article. paper too after you were making a bitch out of yourself. Alright. <laughs> <clears throat> Sounds like you ended up doing all the work, Big B. Yes. Ah, uh, well, well, Sayori. Oh, yeah, it's you. I failed to come Sorry. up with an excuse for Sayori. I made it an adventure! Jesus Yay! Christ, it's like a child. Right. Yeah, that. <laughs> okay, okay. In any case, good work. I'll start working on the posters tonight. Why not now? We got lots of time. Me too! Okay, everyone. Are you ready to share your poems? No. Guess I should grab mine. What was mine? After making sure the crayon box is closed tightly, I return to my seat. Okay. Oh, goddamn. Alright, who should we do it to? I don't know. Close your eyes and pick one, I guess. <laughs> okay. Just like spam the clicking. Go up a bit. Who did I pick? Oh my god. Oh my gosh! Okay. Who'd Yuri! I, I, damn it! <sighs> okay. Let's see what you've written for today. It's a massive disappointment. Mm, hang on. Can I'm gonna like shush my Discord. Hang on. <laughs> I, thought, I thought she was ad libbing it. <laughs> shush. No, no, no. I'm reading, BB. <laughs> So much group chat. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> well done, Big B. <clears throat> okay. Your skills are already improving. Already? Wow, I thought I sucked ass. Yeah, really? Thanks. Coming from you, that means a lot. It does? Alright. Huh? 
It's nothing. I'm just happy to help inspire fellow writers. Yeah, that's what the politicians all say. I know you're new to this, so don't worry so much if it seems like you can't get your poem to feel perfect. Oh no, you better not say something pick up you. You don't need to be afraid to be a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like turning a bunch of gears. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings. Write down the things you see and hear. That's one way to truly enable your reader to see into what? To see into your mind. It's a very intimate exercise. <laughs> what? Sorry. I see. Yes. All right. That's a certainly interesting technique. Okay. Thanks for sharing. I have um problems. Well, an example of that if you'd like to read it. Of problems, sure. Of course. <laughs> Is this the poem you wrote for today? Oh, Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Alright, let's read it. Oh, how the fuck? Alright. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was what? Slicing bread for guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scattering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my, my strange tendencies as what? As an unordinary human. Okay. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious, well aware of the consequences. What? I didn't? Okay. Well aware that raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The exciting. Oh, the enticing. The beauty, enticing. Yeah, the enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. Oh my god. The bread was my hungry curiosity. The raccoon, an urge. The moon. The moon increments its phase, and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. And she emphasizing the knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm. Mm, merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken the has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Paulvian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Better? Tell you a story? How do I finish reading your story? Are we stuck here forever? How do I finish reading your story? Oh, okay. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. <laughs> I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Oh, goddamn, I'm in trouble. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge uh, to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's those sorts of things 
I'm usually forced to keep to myself. You can like click next now. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was 30, 11, but I think I can extend oh. up to Oh, shit. 10. Sorry. Okay, okay, we'll make this quick. No, no, 11, 10 is fine. Yeah, yeah, okay, 11, fine. We, can, we can make this quick, though. So, okay, I didn't read that. <laughs> oh, my shit. Sorry, my bad. Oh, yeah, wait. Can you go back? What is history? Uh, 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 so, I sometimes enjoy writing about them. That's hey. it. <laughs> Why do you keep them to yourself? Because... Because it's stupid, alright. They're embarrassing. Because it's stupid. <laughs> and people would make fun of me. Because it's stupid. Don't you have anything like that, Big B? What, stupidity? No. Well... Yeah, I guess I do. I, oh. <laughs> I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our own individualities. We celebrate our, our individual. Okay, let's go. Okay. Even if it's difficult sometimes and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. Ah, depression. I, I might be ranting a little bit now, so. Uh, but I'm glad you're a good listener. Oh, that's right. It keeps going down like that. Um, uh, let's go with Bree so that you know she yeah, can. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's go, Monica. Hi again, Big B. How's the writing? going absolutely shit all right i guess i'll take that oh my god she stole my poem as long as it's not going bad i'm happy that you're applying yourself sure maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece i already have i wouldn't count on that yes low self-esteem you never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, you might cringe. I mean, okay. All right. It's pretty good. How fast are they reading these poems? Makes me think of Sayori, like the other one that you wrote. Why do I keep writing about Sayori? You two are like the dynamic duo. No. Nah, yeah, that's kind of exaggerating it. Yeah, probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? Yeah, because you usually sneak off to your boyfriends or you disappear into the closet. Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I'm not shy, it's just... <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone. But Yuri and Natsuki are super interesting people. So don't be afraid to give them their share of time. And you can talk to me every now and then too. Sure. I'm not like unapproachable or anything, am I? No, it's just that sometimes you're unavailable, but sure. Oh, no, it's nothing bad. I'm just still getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah. I'm sorry if I was putting pressure, uh, pressure on you or something. Nah, you're good. I really didn't mean it like that. Don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, alright. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? Okay. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. 
All right, let's give it a look. Sure. Save me. Oh, no, it's depressing. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue. An endless avenue of meaningless noise. Okay. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, and piercing. Sign, consign, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Does she need help? Load me. All right. <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Load me. Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. Scary. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just kind of a... It's just the kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. Yeah, especially with the tagline, load me. Kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Yeah. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really depressing until I saw Load Me. It's almost like magic. The, the, the way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. Ah, I see. It's still hard for me to tell what's about, though. <laughs> That's right, fellas. Big B's just stupid as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sometimes <laughs> sorry gremlin laugh okay 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 back to popular girl mode i guess sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question a poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling or a conversation with the reader so putting it that way not every poem is about something okay anyway here's monica's writing tip of the day sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision when that happens don't forget to save your game oh is that what she's telling us to do all right you never know when you might change your mind or when something unexpected may happen. Yeah, I think she's really telling you to save it right now. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Right, let's save it. I feel like something's gonna happen. Yeah, oh I gosh. Feel that's, that's why I didn't want to click the arrow yet. And I was like, you have nine slots. How oh many gosh. times? How many times do I need to save? All right. Uh, oh man. Uh, oh, it's eleven ten. Lisa, the Hindi jump scare. I forgot oh what gosh, happens yeah. here. So um uh, let's let's I cut guess it I have off. to go now guys. Yeah, let's cut it off from there. Yeah, Brie has Ah, uh, suspense. Okay. Sus yeah, that's that's suspense. good. It, it it makes us want to do another one. Yup, yup. Yeah. Yeah. Even though I'm terrified. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We will never I don't know what happens, but also not really. We will never forget. Aha. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm just gonna type in chat and tomorrow's Bruh. class. <laughs> Alright. So, thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, what, what, I, I guess if this ever gets uploaded, I'm pretty sure I will. I, I'm not gonna forget that. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're excited well, to see. I edited it as much. Uh, oh, whoops. Yeah, we're excited to see what suspense is, especially since she kept telling us to save it. So, Please yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for Monica. watching, and we will see you all next time. See you. Hey, goodbye. Yeah. Bye. Mother fucking gentlemen. Goodbye.